Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm actually going to be working on the bodywork on this hatchback so that I can try to get this thing ready for paint sometime soon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with a sharpie and I'm just going to put a mark on anywhere I see that it's got a dent. So for example, right here you can see there's a dent. I'm going to put me a mark. Boom. I'm going to put me a little black sharpie mark on it. There's another little small dent right there. Here's a, another one on the door. We got some cancer down here. That's going to suck. On the passenger side, we got some more cancer. Hey, Michaela. All right, now that I've got everything marked, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some uh, sandpaper out and I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding away on all the little spots. I'm gonna start getting them to like this where it's down past the primer to bare metal. I can start putting some body filler on. So I've got some high bond Bondo professional body filler that actually seems to dry quicker all right, so what I've got here is uh, some 100 grit. It's a pack of seven sheets um, for like $3 at Harbor Freight. I got me some uh, cheap rubbing alcohol and a rag and we're going to wipe all of our spots down. Alright, next thing you want to do, open up your Bondo with either a paint opener or a uh, flathead screwdriver. Then you'll see you've got that and you've got your hardener. All right, so you're gonna need a putty spreader. All I did is I just cut one in half and I'm gonna get something like this to scoop out, to scoop this out with. And I'm gonna use like a paper plate, something that I can throw away. Um, and this one I just kind of cut and flattened. And so either that or you need a piece of cardboard. Mix that up, and you don't need a whole lot of this. So I'm just gonna put me just a little line. And then now we're gonna have to mix this up. All right, once you got it all mixed up, go over to your car. Make sure you go and wipe off all of the old Bondo off your putter, your putty spreader, as soon as you get through so that you can reuse it. Because if you let it harden on there, it's kind of hard to get off sometimes. So make sure you wipe it off right afterward. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm just gonna take some 320 grip and wrap it around my sponge. All right, guys, well, that wraps it up on this episode. Stay tuned to the rust fix and um, doing some wire tucking on the next episode and painting the radiator support. But until then, I hope y'all guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. I'm gonna go finish cooking up these burgers. So, see ya. <laughs>